Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back um, with F and Lido for the Livecom versus PSG. Uh, this one is at home this time. Uh, just going to run you through our team at the moment. Um, so in goal, we have uh, Daffid. Left back is Phil Warlow, who's back after his suspension. Alex Evans and Alex Dyer at the back. Dean Alfie is uh, still playing right back instead of uh, Walters. Smith and Reed in the middle. Uh, Sari Williams is actually on the left due to uh, Hillier being banned for one game also. And Thomas is on the right. Uh, Carey and Simon Draper up front again. And on the bench you've got Jackson Simmons, uh, Roche, Jonathan Walters is actually on the bench. Huh. Um, Ricky Evans, Garen Preen and Paul Penny and Scott Allen as the goalkeeper. So, into the game. Uh, we've got PSG today who are joint top of the league I think. Um, well not the league, the uh, group with Man U. Um, they got a very good team. Look at that! Oh my God, Aguero and Cavani up front. They got they got actually got Corker at the back, um, but oh God, that's not good. Bloody hell! Um, I just oh God, I really don't hope it's a Man U game again. Um, but uh, let's see how things go. Just get everything sort sorted. I need to go on counter actually. Um, uh, no team talks are working at the moment. Okay, here we go. Counter. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's keep this going. Um, okay, so we just need to keep the ball and not let them have any chances. <laughs> um, but I don't know. So at the moment, we are bottom of the group. Um, because of Andalek's win over us, I think things would be a lot different if we had gotten that uh, draw, because then they would be on the same points with us. But because of that really annoying win, uh, they are three points ahead of us at this current time. But here's a highlight for us, actually. No, nope, Simon Draper passes straight into them, but we get the ball somehow. Oh, okay. Guess nothing happened from that then. Andalek are winning over Man U, so they're top of the league at the moment. Um... Of the group, I mean, keeps in the league. That'd be nice if Anderlecht went up. Wouldn't mind that. Um, but you always knew this sort, of, this sort of um, group, the first group stage was not going to go well, and even getting like goals would be hard. But so far, we've done pretty well, I think. The five nil, obviously, not the best, but to get three two against Anderlecht, I'd like that. As Aguero hits the post there, thankfully, Oof. and Sligo are in the group stages, that's a bit weird, um, don't only see them that might get through to the group stages, um, but here's a corner, this was our undoing last time, but Defid holds on to that that time, 25 minutes in, we're doing so f well so far compared to the Man U game, and Warlow gets another yellow card, he needs to calm down, he gets yellow so often, it's ridiculous, but here's PSG with another chance, Florenzi into Cavani puts that over, and Anzalex is still top. Bloody hell. This rate, man, you won't be going through. But there you go, another highlight from PSG. Florenzi, Aguero, Cavani. Oh, I don't know why Daffid was so far off his line there. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why he's so far off. Like, what is he doing pushing out so far? And that's 1 uh, 0 to PSG. Cavani taking the lead there. Um, oh, goddamn. Yeah, look, what is he doing so far out? He just chips him. That's really annoying. Um, skip that. Hopefully get to half-time without conceding another, as they have a corner here. Back into the middle, and that's the second one, just just like the Man U game. Floodgates open as soon as one goes in. Who scored that one? Doesn't even say. Ball goes in. We just... Oh, Smith. Cav uh, Cavani second. We need to work on defensive... Uh, Defending corners. We've been terrible at it. Okay. Just make it to half time. <laughs> Please. Okay, it seems like we can make it to half time. There we go. Uh, assertive. There we go. Tell them off and send them straight back out. Nothing really we can do at the moment. We do have an awful goal difference now because we're conceding 10 goals in 3 games. But. Like, I don't think we deserve that, really. We've played okay. Like, we haven't played, like, deserving 10 goals against us. But, 
just the way it happens sometimes. Thomas on the ball here puts that way over. Should have just cut that back into the middle. What else is happening? Uh, Celtic. Sparta Prague. Just looking for strange teams. Well, us is definitely one, I'd say. Um, but we haven't done anything this game at all. Um, apart from Sligo, that's a bit different. So we got an Irish team, got a Scottish team, got some English teams, and we got Welsh teams. So we got all four nations, actually, apart from Northern Ireland. But I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Um, but, yeah. Oh, God. Two goals scored. That's that's all right. Andelek still winning over Man U here, which is a bit crazy. Um, if they do, that'd be pretty cool. Um, but it would just sort of get rid of any chances of us getting third spot, really. Because I think... Oh, Cavani's hat-trick there. Dean Alfie missing the ball, and there's the hat-trick from Cavani. God damn. 3-0 to PSG there. Pastore just gets past Warlow, puts the ball in. Alfie doesn't even jump, and Cavani back post scores there, unfortunately. He makes some subs now. Smith's not having a good game. Warlow's, re Dean Alfie's not having a good game at all. Um, bring on Roche for Smith, and bring on Penny for Warlow. Oh, no, he can't play there. Um, can Paul Penny play there? Nope. Alex Dyer, can you play there? No. Alex Evans can play there, though. There we go. Don't know if changing the back four is a good thing or not, but we're going to try it anyway. As we actually have a highlight here. Sarri Williams on the ball. First time actually getting anywhere on the ball. And given away straight away to Aguero. So it's really annoying we're not even getting any chances now, as Dufford makes a good save there. Cavani was looking for his fourth. But, yeah. We have to go to PSG and to Man U now, which is great. Um, but here we go, another chance here. Or highlight at least. Paul Penny on the ball. It's Thomas, Simon Draper, Shea, Reed, Thomas, Reed. Across to Sarri Williams. Back out to Thomas. He's going to put the ball in, hopefully. Across to Reed, to Shea. Takes the shot, and Sirigu. He's got a yellow. Hmm. Wonder how I got that. But it's good, good stuff from us there. We're, we're having quite a lot of possession. Oh, there's Man U. Hernandez with the 80th minute uh, equaliser there. Drape hasn't done anything this game, along with Kerry. I haven't even seen him. Good block there by Alex Evans. Um, hopefully we don't make it 4-0 um, towards the end. Daffid with a good save there. Okay. And he just boots the ball out of pit play. So, yeah, look, Alex died with a 7 rating for conceding 3. Not bad. It kind of shows how we're actually playing pretty well. There we go. All over. Probably the most simple game we've had so far. Um, you're unlucky tonight. <laughs> that seems to get everyone motivated. But we have them in the um, next game now, the uh, round trip. So we go to France, and then we go to England, and then we stay in Wales think, and let Anderlecht come to us for the last game. Unless it's the other way around, between Anderlecht and Man U. But, anyway, uh, that was that game, the third game. Um, obviously not the best watching for if you want me to win. But, oh god, 6-1. Wilfred Boney, this man. Hmm. Um, but yeah, and our under-19's got Thrash too. Let's have a look at the under-19's league. Yep, three losses, one. We, we're doing better than them at least. Um, lost 2-1 to Man U. Lost 4-0 to PSG. And lost 5-0 to Anderlecht. Bloody hell. Okay, so. That is that. Um, as I said before, next game will be PSG away. Anderlecht at home. And then Man U away, finally. Um, in December. So, those three games. And then I'll do the February update, as per usual. And review everything. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's been Alex. And I'll see you guys later.